So how do you use your past marketing failures as a launch pad for success? And for this, I want you to think back to your efforts in running your business and you know the times where you may have put your energy in a certain direction and it didn't really work out as you expected as you planned what you me thought it may have looked like in your mind you know when you envisioned putting this into practice and what it might be like when you do so and even even so someone else it didn't look like how someone else on the outside um, took the same thing and seemingly had you know outstanding success while you consider what happened as a failure now you can look at this different ways but you may you know if you were to see your business as a, a separate entity as a, a separate energy it's almost like you have a, a relationship with your business and then when something like you know marketing if some some effort some some sort of activity you did and you expected something to happen and it didn't go as planned if you would think of your business as you know as a person in a relationship and you are now you know having the effects of something didn't go as you expected and you may feel a bit defeated you, you may respond in different ways people respond in different ways in you know when something doesn't go as they expected it to do and for you it may it may be that you take it as a sign that this is not going to work this is something that won't work for you absolutely not and because of that you try something else or you may take it personally to heart more and you may think that you know it's something that is wrong with you um you may feel defeated and it can even affect your drive your energy and your wanting to actually continue this relationship in your business with your business entity your business as the other person you may feel withdrawn you may pull yourself back from those activities when you feel the hit you know right you know viscerally when you feel all of the sensations of failure that okay is something that you're not doing and you may take it to heart like that and then there is th this other way where you can look at what has happened this failure that has happened this area of weakness that it shows it showed up you know it's in you it showed you something that was an area of weakness but you can also see that this area of weakness can take you to your strength and can take you if you follow this path it can actually take you to phenomenal success but you may be self-sabotaging you may be second-guessing yourself if you've had any failure if you've had uh, you know if you tried really hard you put a lot of energy into it you tried really hard and it just didn't go as uh, you wanted and you may take it personally and because of that it's it's difficult to it's a challenge to get into that space of seeing how you can use this area of seeming weakness to your advantage and i'll give you an example for instance i 
you know, before starting his business, when I was, uh, you know, a lot younger, one of my biggest uh, things, uh, you know, uh, that was happening around me when it came to relating with other people was that I never, I never felt a security that I was being heard because I would literally have people tell me all the time, speak up, you can't, they can't hear me, speak up. And so because of that, I felt I came into this, you know, starting business um, that was that was when I first started and that was you know eight eight years back and I came there feeling that that withdrawal of what happens when someone is saying that you know you're not good enough in your voice you cannot you know you can how can you even think about reaching so many people if if the person right here can't hear you and for a long time this really got to me and I withdrew I didn't even want to speak but when it came when it, with my business I had no choice I had to become more visible and it involves a lot of healing work for my voice on on different levels it did not happen all at once like you know to have the comfort and confidence that I have when I speak you know when when I talk talk to people about what I do and my work or lead lead uh, clients and sessions it came from a lot of uh, you know that feeling the withdrawal but knowing that I need to move through this area of seeming weakness because I knew within me I had a message to share and this actually became my strength as I worked with this block as I worked with these challenges of you know of overcoming the fact that you know I thought I was invisible or I, I literally thought I was invisible that I, that that no one would ever hear me um, it was a waste of time to just speak it was quite extreme actually because you know many people would would have been aware of that that you know I just I did not talk very much and, but now it's completely you know different because not that I talk you know I talk in in a in a way that's comfortable that I don't feel that anymore I don't ever feel that I'm invisible when I'm speaking or someone can't hear me because you know I'm so excited to share and this is what I, you know, the message behind this is that it, it was through working over a period of time on this block, again block, <laughs> of expression of through my voice and even, even in other forms, you know, the expression is channeled in different ways. So I worked really hard on this and I worked on the physical, the mental, emotional, spiritual levels. I worked with all the different elemental levels, the five elemental levels and that really, really made the big difference for me now because you know what people usually see, they would see the final the final result but they don't know your story and you may have a unique set of circumstances that have that would have led you here so your you know that the takeaway is uh, to 
know that you can actually use that area of weakness that was brought up that may have been brought up in your marketing effort if you if you were to look at it closely you would see if for what it is and if you work with it if you don't stop there that thinking that that was a failure and you keep moving through what was brought up for you the weakness that was brought up for you you can actually turn it into a powerful source of strength for yourself and you can then convert that weakness that failure into outstanding success for you and that is how you can turn your failures in marketing your efforts into so much success.